When you put a dipstick in a jar of urine, if it's alkaline, you're healthy, and if it's acid, you're sick, right? Well, if you believe that, good luck. Alkali or acid reflect how much carbon dioxide your body makes and dumps. Not enough is acidic, well, enough is alkali. But where does the CO2 come from? Well, it's exhaust from your body's engine called the Krebs cycle the process of burning glucose into energy. With oxygen, the process is aerobic. It burns glucose into 6 CO2s and 38 units of energy. Without oxygen, it's anaerobic or stress energy, and it splits glucose into two lactic acids and only two units of energy with no CO2. So when your body runs efficiently with oxygen, you produce a lot of CO2 and a lot of energy. When your body runs on the stress energy cycle, there's a shortage of both CO2 and energy. So a decline in CO2 shows either a shift to stress energy production or a loss of energy as fatigue, or both. Now, both are bad and telltale coming problems. Two measurements together, your breath rate and your urine pH tell how much CO2 you're dumping and this tells how well your engine is running. A low breath rate and acid urine indicate low CO2 production and hence compromised energy. So if you feel like you may not breathe enough then after we finish this video take five minutes to sit quietly and count your breaths. If you count less than 75 then your body isn't making enough CO2 to trigger a normal breath rate and you're starting to have a problem. If your count is 65 or less then your Krebs cycle is depressed and you're on the road to trouble. About 80 is ideal. If your breath rate was low then your urine is probably acidic too. You can get pH test strips at most drugstores. A urine pH of about 6.4 is ideal. Lower numbers usually mean that there's less CO2 in your urine than there should be. But if your breath rate was low, then you already know you have an issue. Every CO2 your body doesn't make is six units of energy that you have to do without, as fatigue. The more your body does without the energy it needs, the sooner you're going to have problems. So if you're low on CO2 or energy, then brownouts from vascular inflammation are the first thing you want to get rid of.